Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how to increase your Wi-Fi and wired network performance and speeds on Windows, right after the intro. Okay everyone, welcome back. Just a quick reminder before we get started, remember to hit that thumbs up button, it helps other YouTubers find quality content. Click on subscribe if you want to see more content, and then click the bell to get notified anytime we add new content. So let's go ahead and get started on how to increase our network speed on Windows. Folks, we're going to be working with the registry today. Anytime we edit the registry, there's always a small chance that something could go wrong and we could have a system that doesn't boot. And because of that, I always encourage everyone to make sure you have a full backup of the system before you go in and edit anything in the registry or do anything in any of the videos that we post so that in the rare event something does go wrong, you can always get back to the system the way it was before we made any changes. Okay everyone, so out of the box, Windows comes with a default IRP stack size. And what this is, is this is an IO request packet stack size. And this is a receive buffer. And the more of these you have, the more information your computer can process simultaneously. So a larger number of buffers means your computer can do more, which should, in most cases, increase your performance. So what we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna increase the number of buffers from 15, and we're gonna increase it up to 32. And we can go up to 50, but Microsoft has kind of a warning out there that choosing values above 32 can cause stability problems so we're going to go up to 32 and leave it at that you can certainly try a higher value at your own risk so what we're going to do is open the registry editor to do that we're going to go down in the search box we're going to type in reg edit we're going to left click run as administrator we're going to say yes to the user account control prompt now, I already have the path copied to the clipboard, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in here. You want to go ahead and take note of that. I'm going to hit enter. This is going to take me right to the area where I need to be. Now, once I get to the landman server parameters area, I'm going to right click. I'm going to say new, and we're going to do a D word 32 bit value and I'm going to paste this in and you're going to create one that's exactly this way. It has to be capitalized where it's capitalized, lowercase where it's lowercase and we're going to say enter. It's going to say IRP stack size. Then we're going to double click. We're going to change the base value to a decimal and under value data this is where we put in what we want. We're going to put in 32 and we're going to hit OK. And we're going to exit. And the last thing we need to do is we need to reboot for the changes to take effect. Okay, everyone, so we've rebooted. Let's go ahead and open up Chrome. Now, as far as the speeds, you're probably not going to notice a huge difference for day-to-day -day tasks. But you may notice a difference at certain times when you're downloading a lot of data or when you're multitasking. Those are the times where you want to make sure you have the maximum amount of performance that you can get out of your system. So I can just go ahead and click on something here. This is the Chrome Web Store. You can see everything loads up. Okay, folks, and the last thing we're going to do here before we wrap up is I'm going to show you how to change and how to remove this. Okay, so we're going to go back here to the search box. We're going to type in regedit. We're going to run as administrator. We're going to say yes to the user account control prompt. Now since this is the last thing we did, it's going to take us right back to this part of the registry, which is good. Now we can go back to the IRP stack size. We can double click. We can change this value or we can just right click the value and remove it altogether. And that will revert us back to the Windows default. Okay, folks, so this has just been a quick video on how to get maximum performance 
out of your Wi-Fi or wired network on Windows. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps other YouTubers find quality content, and we really appreciate it. Click on subscribe, and then click the bell, and you'll get notified anytime we add new content. As always, comments, questions, and suggestions are welcome below, and we thank you very much for watching.